Hello everybody, I'm Ajit K. Mishra. I'm back with another session on winning communication skills. If you remember, in my last session, I talked about the power of communication and how communication actually transforms the way we live and changes the way we act. So in this session, I'm going to talk about communication at work. We all know communication actually goes to work along with us. So wherever we go, communication goes with us. So if we carry the right kind of communication, we'll definitely succeed at every stage in life. If that doesn't happen, it will lead to problems. So communication plays a very, very important role at the workplace because it leads to several positive outcomes. If we take care of communication in the right manner, and if we develop the right kind of communication, and if we carry the right kind of communication to the workplace, it's going to help us a great deal. And we will succeed in whatever thing we do. So in this session, I'll be talking about uh, some of the most important aspects associated with communication that play a very important role at the workplace. To start with, communication plays a very important role in building trust. If I use the right kind of words while communicating with my colleagues at work, if I use the right kind of body language, if I send the right kind of verbal and non-verbal signals, that will definitely build trust with people. So, and that will, that will lead to trust between uh, the speaker and the listeners because the listener will feel assured, the listener will not feel challenged or intimidated. There are people who use words in such a manner or the kind of words that promptly drives away the listeners, that promptly intimidates the listeners. And that never leads to the building of any trust between them. So with the right kind of communication done in a very positive manner, we can always expect trust and bonding to happen. And when that happens, it will certainly lead to positive relationships. We need to understand that we are going to spend a lot of time or we are already spending a lot of time at the workplace with our colleagues. And if we do not build trust with our colleagues, with the people with whom we work, it's never going to lead to any kind of positive relationships. If that doesn't happen, the workplace will turn out to be a nightmarish place for us. It will be a chaotic place and we'll never be at ease with ourselves or our colleagues. And that will lead to several problems your know, professional problems and psychological issues because a person will never return home satisfied or happy. A person will not feel like returning to the office because the person is not comfortable there. So in order for comfort, in order for the satisfaction to take place, it's very important that we begin by building trust. And that is how communication can actually help us. So if I communicate in the right manner, in a soft, warm tone with my colleagues, if I use words that are inclusive, if I uh, use phrases or expressions or even statements that are non-blaming, and if I do not judge my colleagues and their capabilities, so the way I send these signals, either verbal signals through the words and statements I issue or non-verbal signals, the way I use my body language while interacting with my colleagues. All these things will determine whether there's going to be trust and a positive relationship or not. So uh, that's, that's how communication can actually help us build trust and a positive relationship. Secondly, Communication defines expectations, goals, and processes. Because when we begin to discuss things, 
with our colleagues, with people around us, we actually discuss our expectations. For example, when I'm discussing something with my colleague, my colleague can always construe, can always comprehend what expectations I have from myself and from the colleague. So when we are working in a team and when we uh, go for team discussions or team meetings, each team member can easily understand the goals, the expectations that are required or demanded of each team member. So if it is communicated properly, communication can clearly define expectations. There'll be no doubts, there'll be no confusions. So communication can define our expectations. And then once the expectations are well-defined, it can lead to a well-defined goals and processes. When I know my expectations, I can fix my goals, and then once I fix my goals, I can actually clearly define the processes. So stage one this, stage two this, stage through this. So I, I can see, I can visualize the process, I can visualize the distinct steps which will be undertaken in order to arrive at that goal. Thirdly, communication, if done properly, promotes respect through kindness and empathy. So there are occasions when we show our respect and empathy for others through verbal expressions. If I, if I say somebody that, I, I always enjoy your company. I always enjoy uh, being with you. Or I, I love to spend time with you. I love to discuss things with you. That means there is trust. There is a positive relationship. And there is respect. So this respect can actually be promoted through kindness and empathy. So when I am kind to my colleagues, my colleagues can actually... Uh, you know, return that kindness either in the same coin or through respect and empathy. So when I am empathetic to my, to my, towards my colleagues, they can also be empathetic towards me. So respect, empathy, kindness are the things that get returned in the same coin. We all know the kind of behavior that we show towards others get returned in the same coin. So if we show empathy, kindness and respect, they will also return the same things to us. So, and then when there is trust, there is respect, there is understanding and there's a positive relationship, it will lead to the expression of opinion and ideas. When there is distrust between people or among people, people will not express themselves or their opinions clearly and readily. So that will, that will definitely lead to some kind of uh, uh, obstruction, some kind of uh, poor productivity. So whenever opinion and ideas are expressed clearly, that will be leading to the right kind of productivity. So communication makes this happen. So when you give that confidence, give that assurance, to somebody while communicating. For example, if, if the manager or the boss says to uh, the colleague that, please come up with your ideas. I mean, I would like to know how you uh, approach this particular issue or problem. So you're most welcome to uh, give your suggestions or share your ideas with me. I'd like to hear. So the employee will feel very, very confident about it. and the employee will definitely come forward and share the ideas. And then uh, communication at the workplace values teamwork and collaboration. So the right kind of communication always lead to the right kind of team building process and teamwork process. Because we live in an era when 
it's, it's not about uh, uh, isolated or uh, individual uh, workers. It's, it's far more about team members coming together, working together, taking up a problem, taking up a mission or um, uh, an issue and then contributing to that issue in different ways. So that is how it becomes very, very important. So, and then communication at the workplace also values diversity, differences and similarities. We all know, I mean, the kind of workplaces that we go to these days are absolutely multicultural. So people from different cultural backgrounds, people with different orientations come to work at one place. So that one nice can be achieved only when we are open. We have that flexibility. If we are not flexible, that means if I think that my culture is the best culture, my upbringing is the best kind of upbringing, so I'll end up uh, entering into conflicts with others. So that way it will be a big problem. So with that, we can now take a look at uh, how communication plays an important role uh, in workplace success. So communication is absolutely important when it comes to workplace success because starting with listening, the right kind of listening, because a person cannot afford to go on speaking all the time, one has to listen to others as well. Because uh, in turns, speakers will change. So if somebody else is speaking, I must have the patience, the right mindset to listen to the person. So listening plays a very, very important role. That's a communication skill. Body language, as I have already told you, plays an extremely important role in workplace success. If I do not uh, carry the right kind of body language, for example, if I stand with folded uh, arms like this, that means I'm very, very uh, closed to any kind of things, any, any positive happenings around me. So if I have my hands open and it's open gesture, then that means that I'm open, I'm flexible. Clarity is very, very important because there's no place for ambiguity in workplace. So ambiguities actually lead to workplace disasters. In the other hand, clarity plays a very, very important. And when clarity is combined with confidence, together they play a very, very important role in workplace success. That means I must be very, very clear about my thoughts, my ideas, my preferences, everything. So there should be uh, no element of doubt in my mind. If there is any doubt, I must get it clarified. And I cannot afford to maintain or continue with my doubt for long. That will lead to disasters. So clarity is very, very important. And confidence, you know, confidence is something that will come to us when we find the right kind of environment and the right kind of people. In order for this to happen, it's very important that we contribute in the, or to the making of the right kind of environment and right kind of people. So, and then friendliness and empathy. These two are very, very important elements when it comes to workplace success. In the absence of empathy or a friendly approach towards our colleagues, no workplace success is possible. And then respect. I've already talked about respect. Respect plays a very, very important role because it is a fundamental need of every human being as recognition. Respect is as important as recognition because every human being needs to be respected or wants to be respected. So if we do not have that respect for others, we will not have it for ourselves as well. We cannot expect it from them. So where there is no respect, there is no trust. And where there is no trust, there is no cooperation or teamwork or collaboration. So at the end of it, we need to depend a lot on feedback. Because communication is, is very closely associated with feedback. That's a, that's a kind of communication because everything that we do, we get a feedback for that. Either uh, through signals, non-verbal signals, or through verbal signals. For example, if I do something, my colleague can say, um, great job. 
great going. So keep it up. So that's the kind of feedback. That's the kind of recognition. Or sometimes somebody can clap, somebody can show a thumbs up. That's the kind of feedback that we owe. Or sometimes people can come forward and tell you that you went wrong there, you could have done that better. So that's a kind of constructive feedback we can always expect from people. But simultaneously, we can also expect some kind of criticism in the form of feedback from people. And we need to be open to such criticism. So feedback, which is a very important aspect of communication, actually makes it happen. So that is how all these things together play a very, very important role in workplace success. They are absolutely essential when it comes to workplace success. So that's all for this session. And I'm sure you're going to explore these ideas yet further. When I meet you next, uh, I'll be talking about uh, uh, some other aspects of communication. So until then, have a nice time. Bye-bye.